Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy D. And um, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resample. Um, basically, what that is going to do is that it's going to free up some of your CPU power so it won't go all up in the red, I mean, to the, you know, all the way green and, um, you know, start your computer bugging out. Um, you know, just to, on a real quick note, um, you know, in any computer, the more RAM you have, the faster your computer is going to, you know, is going to work. Um, RAM stands for random access memory. Um, you know, just to, not to get into all that is basically the quicker, the more RAM you have, the quicker your computer can access that data. So, under all means, fill, whatever your computer can hold, find out and um, you know max it out. You know, if you, and, and that's it. I mean, there's really nothing to that if you if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, then just get, you know, as close as you can to maxing it out. It's just going to help your computer out from crashing and, you know, just all in all, in all um, faster performance. It ain't going to stop it from crashing. There, you still might have crashes because, you know, they do that. But it's going to help your computer work a lot faster. <clears throat> all right. So on that note, I'm going to show you how to to do to resample so everything that you do is in a plugin or a VST or plugin and using up a whole bunch of CPU power and you can use more sounds. Alright so real quick I'm on an MPC Renaissance. Sorry about not having a camera for um this video to show you what I'm doing on a Ren. But if you have a Ren you can still follow. If you have if you want to use it from the you do it from the computer you can. Alright so I'm on track one. Um I'm a I'm a I'm gonna add a plugin so of course I'm gonna go to you know, tar um, type, and I'm gonna go to plugin, and I'm gonna just use. You can use whatever plugin you want, but I'm gonna use Massive right now. So, um, so I'm loading up Massive. This is Massive right here, and I'm gonna go to browse. I'm gonna just pick a sound. I'm, you know, I'm not. All right, we're not trying to get into making a crazy beat. But we, I just want to show you how it's gonna be using the CPU and how to do a resample. Okay, so let me close this. I got the sound I want. Um, I'm gonna just put it to. I'm gonna just put it to 90 something bars. You can have it on whatever bars you're making it beat at. This is gonna have nothing to do with what we're doing. All right, so, um, and now I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record just a little thing. All right, so I'm gonna stop it. So that's what it is. So, and as you can, as you can see, that green popped up on the CPU right here. Um, watch it. Whoop, sorry about that. Watch it right there. You'll see it pop up when I'm playing it. All right. And that's because it's using it's using a little it's using a plugin. It's using CPU power. Now I'm gonna go to track two. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add another plugin. You guys should know how to do this already. I'm gonna add another massive plugin. And like I said, you can use whatever plugin you want to use. And I'm gonna find another sound for that plugin. And I'm gonna just go to synth lead. Yeah. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna record that for track two. And as you can see, that that um, that's getting a little bit higher there. That CPU usage is getting a little higher. Starting to be more visible starting to be more visible all right so now i'm gonna show you how to i'm gonna show you how to take basically all that out um, um now you now say if, if i use five more plugins of course it's going to get higher and higher and higher you know i don't want to you know i don't want to make the video long but that's the idea it's going to get higher and higher all right so this is what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna go to track mute and i'm gonna mute track two i, I, I don't want to hear track two i just want to hear that track one all right so we got track one playing now I want to go to sample, um, so I want to go to sample record. All right, you know how to do that on the RAN. You just double click um, sample edit, and so now I'm in sample record, and I'm gonna go to uh, where it says up top. You're, it's gonna right here. It says external. Mine was on resample because I already did this video like twice and I kept messing up. But all right, so it, it's gonna be on external. Bring it to resample. Once it's in resample. You're going to hit record on your MP, and then you're going to hit play, you know, play start button so you can start. So I'm going to hit record. It's recording. Now I'm going to hit play start. And I hit, 
Now I hit stop and stop because I only there's only two bars. So and I'm gonna just keep that because I already know what it sounds like. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll play it so you can hear it, but it's what we just played. All right, so we're gonna keep that. And I'm gonna hit sample edit one more time so I can trim it. All right, so I'm gonna trim that. I'll just get as close as I close as I you know close as I can. You know, of course you want to get it. You want to get it dead on. That that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna hit now. I'm gonna hit edit, and then I'm gonna hit just discard. I'm gonna do that because I just want to trim off the top. So that's there, right there. Now, what I'm gonna do now is um from here. I'm going to just hit chop, go to chop, and I'm going to take it off of, I think I'm going to put it on, it's on BPM right now, I think I'm going to put it on, I'll put it, make it easier, I'll put it on threshold. So, it's on threshold, and I'm going to take all of these out, I don't need none of these. So, I'm just double clicking on them, double clicking on them takes them out, alright, so, just double click those, alright. And so there's one big one, whatever. And I'm going to just hit convert. So now, and I'm going to hit do it. So now I converted it into a, a program. Now I'm going to hit main menu. Now I'm at the main menu. I'm going to go on, now, let me, um, now I'm going to go back to track one. I'm going to bring it to track one. And I'm going to delete that track one. So I'm going to hit, um, I got 001, track 001 highlighted. I hit window and I hit clear. And I hit do it. So there's no sound in track one. So, but when now I'm a, it's already set the drum. I'm gonna go to program, and then I'm a, it's gonna say new sample. So, so on that first pad is that that first pad is that is that sample. Now I'm gonna record that sample in here. Record, play, start. All right, so now that's in. So now I'm gonna unmute track two. So track mute, mute track two, and now, real quick, uh, now um, now that that CPU part usage is going down because it isn't, it isn't using that uh, it using it isn't using that first plugin anymore. So now I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna get the uh, the rest of it going by. I'm gonna go to track mute. I'm track mute. Um, I muted track one. I mean, yeah, mute track one out right now. And so now I'm only gonna be able to hear track two. All right. So now we only hear track two. So now I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna click sample, um, um, sample record again. Ready? Now I'm gonna, same same as the process on the first one. I'm going to hit record, then I'm going to hit play start to record that second tr um, track. I hit stop. Stop on both. I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to click sample edit so I can go to this so I can do my you know my trimming and you know I like I said I go to the I always go to the beginning of there because that's where it starts at yeah. yep. all right so now I'm gonna hit edit and I'm gonna hit discard and do it so now it starts right there and it doesn't matter about the end because it's a two bar loop and it's gonna you know whatever so now I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna click chop and it's it's already on threshold, so let me stress this out so you can see the whole thing. It's on threshold. Well, it's on region now. Let's put it on threshold just to make it, I guess, a little bit less. Um, I actually I could have assigned it to a pad too, but I didn't do that. I just left it like it was. So I'm gonna just take all this out. Uh, there might be another, there might be a faster way to clear this, but I don't know. You guys can figure that part out. Alright, so now, so now I got that. Now I'm going to just hit convert, and I'm going to hit do it. 
All right, so now I'm 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 back at I'm clicking back to the main menu, and I'm going to um I'm gonna go to track two, and I'm gonna delete track two. So I'm, track two is highlighted. Hit window. Hit clear. Hit do it. So there's nothing on track two. It's set to drum. I'm gonna go to sample, and then I'm gonna go to um it's gonna say sample. It's gonna say new sample channel um one one channel. All right, and so that's gonna be right there. So now I'm going to put that in. I'm going to record, play, start. All right. So, so now, that, now that's in there. I could have been playing track both tracks at the same time. But now I'm going to unmute track one. Track one is unmuted. So here goes both sounds, both of the things, both tr um, tracks. And as you can see, the CPU isn't going, it isn't even showing up anymore. And it's the same thing that I did already. And that's how you do resamples and, you know, and cut down on some of your, um, you know, you're, you, you know, using all the plugins and the, it's a little process, but hey, if you're making a hot beat and you, your processor, you don't have your, your thing isn't, your computer's not full of RAM and you just want to make something a little bit, you know, you want to make it keep, you know, keep going without having any problems, you know, just resample that, whatever you use for your plugins, just resample it and you, you, you eliminate that problem. Also, let me tell you, always, in the process of making your beats, I always try to tell people this, hit save. So you don't want to be 20 minutes into your beat and then it crashes, on the computer crashes on you. You don't want that. So, you know, when you start, when you got that main, that little foundation down, it might f*** up your workflow a little bit. Oops, excuse my French, but it might mess up your, your screen, your, your little, you know, your, your workflow a little bit. But just hit sample. Trust me, you'll be happy that you saved it if it crashes. All right, it's your boy D. I'm out. Peace. I hope this helps. I'm out.